Welcome back to GearWire.com. This guy, well, let me introduce myself first. I'm Owen O'Malley. Hi. This guy is the Marshall MA100. Uh, specifically, this is the MA100C. Uh, now, the MA series is new from Marshall. Uh, it's sort of taking over for their valve estate, you know, sort of hybrid amp designs. Um, you know, Marshall has the entry-level MGs, and they used to have the mid-level uh, valve estate and then the AVT, which is the Advanced Valve Estate Technology Design, which basically used a solid-state power section and then a tube in the preamp. Now, uh, companies have come along. Uh, let's just call it out. Specifically, Bugera has come along. They're making Chinese-manufactured amps that are all tube, that uh, sound better than valve estate amps, and cost uh, well under $1,000. So in response to that, Marshall has released the MA line. Um, this is a 100 watt all valve amp designed by Marshall, manufactured in China. It retails for $900. So that's uh, you know probably the, the cheapest new all tube 100 watt 212 combo Marshall uh, that's ever been. So how does that sound? Uh, well, you just heard a little bit of it, a uh, little bit of it in the intro. And this guy uses 12 AX7s in the preamp. This is the 100 watt version, so there's four EL34s powering this guy. Um, let's listen to the clean channel real quick. It's a two channel amp, comes with a uh, two channel foot switch. Uh, so over to the clean channel. Basic uh, three band EQ volume. Let's listen to what that sounds like. So it's very punchy, um, and that has basically everything to do with the fact that it is an all-valve channel from the preamp through to the power section. Um, you don't really have any gain control on the clean channel, but you can engage uh, the boost. It gives it a, a, just a little bit more heft, but it's really, really subtle. All right, now let's move over to the overdrive channel because that's really what sort of the point of this amp is. Let's take off the boost, move, move over to overdrive. Um, in fact, let's take a closer look at the overdrive controls. All right, now here's our overdrive channel. We switch channels here. There's also a foot switch included. But uh, so we've got gain, bass, middle, treble, volume. And then we've got something called crunch balance. Now crunch balance only works when you're in the overdrive channel but boost is not engaged. Uh, basically, what it does is it, it's a blend between the two, there's, there's I guess, two preamp uh, overdrive voices going on here. And there's one that's like a lower gain and one that's a higher gain. And you can kind of blend between the two. So all the way sort of uh, counterclockwise. very sort of just crunchy tone. Uh, and then you get a very uh, sort of a, a beefier tone. So now let's eng engage uh, the boost here and uh, listen to what kind of gain we get out of this guy. So uh, you get quite a bit of gain out of this guy. Very good uh, 
modern rock tones, modern, uh, modern and heavy rock tones, very, uh, very present. Uh, actually, let's move over to the master control section, um, and you can see how you can further shape your tone. All right, so these, uh, these controls right here are all very important. Well, I mean, reverb is important just because it's, you know, reverb. Let's listen to that real quick. Yeah, nice reverb. All right, anyway, let's kick our overdrive and boost back on. Resonance and presence are sort of like EQ controls that uh, act in the power stage. And you're going to want to adjust them based on what volume level your amp is at. Now, we're pretty loud right here. We're about two-thirds volume on a 100-watt amp. Now, in that case, we've already got a lot of resonance coming out of it. Uh, so you, I have our, my resonance control sort of down a little bit here. Resonance adds low end girth. Uh, so when you tune your, turn your volume down and you kick the resonance up, you're sort of compensating for the loss in low end that typically happens when you lower the volume on an amplifier. Uh, in the same way, the presence is sort of a high end control, but in the power amp section. Now we've got this really cranked, so I've got my presence cranked as well, because we've got a lot of low end, a lot of resonance, and we want some definition pick attack in there still too. That's why I've got the presence cranked. If you were to turn the volume down, you'd want to roll the presence back a little bit uh, to get a sort of smoother, creamier sound from lower volumes. Uh, let's just listen really quick to what that sounds like. Let's bring our presence down and our resonance up. Take a look at the back. So really simple layout on the back here. Uh, the tube's not glowing because, as you can see, uh, the power is not on. Um, but if we zoom in over here, not much going on in the back. You've got an effects loop and a foot switch. Mono effects loop can be bypassed with that little button there. Interesting. Uh, and then your sort of basic uh, Marshall speaker output complement. So that's the Marshall MA100C, the combo version of the MA100. Um, it is an all-tube. Uh, Marshall combo made in China. Uh, it's a 212 combo, 100 watts, and it runs for $900 new. So pretty affordable, a new from Marshall. Uh, you've been watching GearWire.com. I'm Ona Malley.